हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी व्हाट आर आइगेन वेक्टर्स ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स एंड हाउ टू फाइंड इट सो लेट अस फर्स्ट सी द फॉर्मल डेफिनेशन ऑफ आइगेन वेक्टर्स लेट ए बी एनी स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स ऑफ ऑर्डर एन देन द आइगेन वेक्टर ऑफ मैट्रिक्स ए इज द नॉन जीरो वेक्टर एक्स सच दैट दिस इक्वेशन ए एक्स इज इक्वल टू लैमडा एक्स होल्ड्स फॉर आइगेन वैल्यू लैमडा ऑफ ए नोट दैट आइगेन वेक्टर्स आर नॉन जीरो बाय डेफिनेशन बट आइगेन वैल्यूज मे बी जीरो सो यू कैन हैव एन आइगेन वैल्यू विच इज जीरो बट द करस्पॉन्डिंग आइगेन वेक्टर शुड नॉट बी जीरो नाउ लेट अस सी हाउ टू फाइंड आइगेन वेक्टर ऑफ अ मैट्रिक्स एज वी हैव सीन द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द आइगेन वेक्टर इट इज द नॉन जीरो वेक्टर एक्स such that the equation ax is equal to lambda x hold for the corresponding eigen value lambda now we will take this lambda x on the other side so we have equation ax minus lambda x is equal to 0 since this x is common in both the terms we can take it out to get a minus lambda i into x is equal to 0 now we have this modified equation a minus lambda i into x is equal to 0 if we put matrix a identity matrix i and the corresponding eigen value lambda in this equation we can easily find the corresponding eigen vector x from this equation now let us see an example on this here we are given a matrix a and we are asked to find the corresponding eigen values and the eigen vectors of this matrix so let us first of all find the corresponding eigen values for that one needs to solve the characteristic equation of the matrix it is given by determinant of a minus lambda i is equal to 0 in my previous video i have shown you the trick to find characteristic equation of the matrix so using it you can find the characteristic equation and after solving the characteristic equation you will get characteristic roots that is eigen values of the matrix and in this particular example the eigen values are 2 3 and 5 now we will find corresponding eigen vectors of this matrix to find eigen vector associated to matrix a for a corresponding lambda we need to solve the equation a minus lambda i into x is equal to 0 this is what we have seen on my previous slide now substituting for a and i we get this system this is nothing but a system of linear equations in x1 x2 and x3 i label it as equation number 1 now carry forwarding this data on my next slide we have this now we will substitute values of lambda 1 by 1 and we will solve the system for the eigen vector x so when lambda is equal to 2 equation 1 becomes this 3 minus 2 is 1 2 minus 2 is 0 5 minus 2 is 3 so we got this system of equation we see that using row transformations we cannot eliminate any one of the rows of this system so we go with cramer's rule to find values of x1 x2 and x3 for that we need to choose any two equations out of these three so i chose first and the second one the first equation states x1 plus x2 plus 4 x3 is equal to 0 whereas the second equation is 0 x1 plus 0 x2 plus 6 x3 is equal to 0 now we apply cramer's rule to find values of x1 x2 and x3 according to cramer's rule we have to do this kind of setup where below x1 we have to write determinant of coefficients of x2 and x3 here it will be 1 into 6 6 minus 4 into 0 0 similarly below x2 you have to write minus of determinant of coefficients of x1 and x3 so here it will be 4 into 0 0 minus 1 into 6 6 and below x3 you have to write determinant of coefficients of x1 and x2 here it will be 1 into 0 0 
माइनस वन इंटू जीरो जीरो इज इक्वल टू से कॉन्स्टेंट के वेन वी सॉल्व दिस वी विल गेट वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स वन एक्स टू एंड एक्स थ्री सो वी सी बिलो एक्स वन वी हैव सिक्स बिलो एक्स टू वी हैव माइनस सिक्स बिलो एक्स थ्री वी हैव जीरो मल्टीप्लाइंग थ्रू आउट दिस इक्वेशन बाय सिक्स वी विल हैव एक्स वन अपॉन वन एक्स टू अपॉन माइनस वन एंड एक्स थ्री अपॉन जीरो सो वी से एक्स वन इज इक्वल टू के एक्स टू इज इक्वल टू माइनस के एंड एक्स थ्री इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो द आइगन वेक्टर करस्पॉन्डिंग टू आइगन वैल्यू लैमडा इज इक्वल टू टू इज के कॉमा माइनस के कॉमा जीरो वेर के इज एनी स्केल आर हेन्स फॉर लैमडा इज इक्वल टू टू आइगन वेक्टर एक्स वन इज के इंटू वन कॉमा माइनस वन कॉमा जीरो नाउ विल सी आइगन वेक्टर करस्पॉन्डिंग टू आइगन वैल्यू लैमडा इज इक्वल टू थ्री to find it we will substitute lambda is equal to 3 in equation number 1 so we get this system of linear equation once again since we cannot eliminate any one of these rows to zero using row transformation we will use cramer's rule to find out values of x1 x2 and x3 for that i choose first two rows which gives me the equations 0 x1 Plus one x two plus four x three is equal to zero, and zero x one minus x two plus six x three is equal to zero. Using the Cramer's rule setup, we have x one upon determinant of coefficients of x two and x three. In this case, it will be one into six six minus four into minus one, which is plus four, is equal to x two upon minus of determinant of coefficients of x1 and x3 which is 0 minus 0 is equal to x3 upon determinant of coefficients of x1 and x2 which is 0 minus 0 so we see here below x1 we have 10 below x2 we have 0 below x3 we have 0 multiplying throughout it by 10 we can have x1 is equal to k x2 is equal to 0 and x3 is equal to 0 so we say x2 is equal to k into 1 comma 0 comma 0 is the eigen vector corresponding to eigen value lambda is equal to 3 on the similar lines we will find out the eigen vector corresponding to lambda is equal to 5 for that we will put lambda is equal to 5 in equation 1 so we get this system of linear equation In this system we see there are only two equations in three variables that is minus 2x1 plus x2 plus 4x3 is equal to 0 and minus 3x2 plus 6x3 is equal to 0 since there are only two equations in three variables we can solve this system without using cramer's rule to do so we have to substitute a random value to variable x1 let us say x1 is equal to k so when we substitute x1 is equal to k we get system as x2 plus 4x3 is equal to 2k and minus 3x2 plus 6x3 is equal to 0 solving this system of two equations in two variables we get x2 is equal to 2 by 3k and x3 is equal to k by 3 so simplifying which we can say x1 is equal to 3k x2 is equal to 2k and x3 is equal to k so the eigen vector associated to lambda is equal to 5 is k times 3 comma 2 comma 1 in this way you can find eigen vectors associated to eigen values of the matrix i hope you understood the concept of finding eigen values and eigen vectors of the matrix thank you guys for watching this video Please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos.